It's Gary Carpenter with Master Real Estate Academy, and if you're watching this video, you um, had just finished up this last week of session four, which that would have made you three weeks into the production program, which would have been 15 hours of um, prospecting so far completed, um, adding uh, at least 30 people or updating 30 people into your database. That would have been 45 note cards sent and um, at least four, um, if not six, coffee appointments attended. And, um, and so you're well on your way of getting into, well, you should be on your way of getting into a routine of, um, you know, that this is not something new. Like when we go back to session one, from session one to session two, your first week into the program, you had your normal life that was going on, right? You had everything personal that was going on, any transactions that you were working on at the time was going on, and you didn't have the five hours scheduled in. Or at least you weren't in a routine of having those five hours and then scheduling in the time to do the note cards and scheduling in the time to follow up and um, update uh, the people in your database. And obviously it's tougher to go find new people than it is to update people that you currently have in your database. Um, and the best resource right now for um, adding people to your database is Facebook, of going in there and looking. And we talked about Facebook in session three um, and how to update your Facebook page. And if you forgot, go back to session three and watch that. But one of the major things that, um, that I talked about in session four was the word sacrifice, right? So not not the not the meaning of the religious meaning of, you know, you have to sacrifice your kids or you have to sacrifice a pet or something like that. Um, sacrifice to me is more of you're going to need to sacrifice time or you're going to need to sacrifice money or you're going to need to sacrifice convenience or maybe all three of them. Um, but when this becomes a routine, and if you can look at the, uh, the future and have faith that, you know, doing the activities, the routines, the um, weekly routine of five hours, and, um, and be frank, most of us need to do more than five hours. You know, one of the things that we had talked about in the class was, um, you know, it, how many hours are you dedicating to your real estate business? If you're not going on listing appointments, if you're not, um, you know, going on showing houses, um, obviously you're, you may be in a transaction to where, you know, you have to do something for the listing to get it to closing, or you need to do something for a purchase contract for a buyer to get that to closing, maybe a home inspection or whatever the case may be. But for the most part, if you have a routine of when you're going to do your calling, when you're going to update your database, when you're going to do your, your thank you notes, and if you have attached to that the reward that's going to come from that, like what's going to come from these activities, right? Eventually, future business is going to come from these activities. So in order for that to happen, the future business, you're going to have to sacrifice on the front end, and that could be sacrificing time with your family. That could be um, getting out of your comfort zone and sacrificing convenience, right, of sitting down and making phone calls. You may have to sacrifice a little bit of money because you may need to go get mojo or whatever you're going to have to invest. You know, like we do, I do the cold calling, but I've sacrificed money in paying somebody else to do the calling for me. Um, that's so, so when I say sacrifice, you're going to have to sacrifice. We all sacrifice. Like right now, up to this point, you have sacrificed future business by not doing the activities. And I think the biggest challenge is most of us is that since it's future business and we don't actually see it and we're not losing something, like when you um, have call somebody and they say, hey, you know, or you go on a listing appointment and, and, and you do all the work to get to the listing appointment and you go on the listing appointment and then they choose not to use you, well, you lost something there, right? That's, I mean, that's concrete that you lost that. But a lot of times we don't, 
see all of the business that we're losing because we're not sacrificing up front of you know doing the prospecting and doing the um, follow-up and all of that type of stuff so my suggestion for you I'm hoping that you know those of you that have made it this far so far because I'll just tell you right now many people have not made it to session four um, going into session five four weeks in most people have given up they've made some excuse it doesn't matter the excuse but they've made some type of an excuse on why this program is not working for them and um, so anyhow uh, the other things that we covered in um, in session uh, four was uh, let's see here we covered uh, hit ratio of basically you know talking about um, you know what uh, it's a numbers game so you're going to need to go on multiple appointments in order to and we say you should go on five appointments a week um, three are probably going to um, not list with you and um, and hopefully you get you know two of the five and um, how to get your database to refer you more is another piece that we covered questions to ask on your listing presentation we went through the ingredients of a listing presentation which if you remember it was the ingredients of, of why your company why you why marketing and then the agent skills which is the most important part of that listing presentation we went over pricing presentation we went over the do's and don'ts of pricing we went over to how to present price like a CMA um, we went over uh, um, uh, the uh, really mainly the in, in session four was the components of the listing uh, listing presentation and then I presented and showed you an example of a good listing presentation so if uh, you need to get updated on that stuff please go back and watch um, again it, it is it ha I know you have sacrificed and um, I'm hoping that this becomes a routine because the ones that decide decide to make the um, routines five hours 10 names um, updated or added to your database 15 note cards two coffee appointments post your schedule track your numbers if you make those a um, uh, a habit um, long range you are going to be successful in this business and you're going to be able to write your own ticket no matter where you live no matter where you move no matter what kind of market that it is. So, um, so anyhow, I love you. And if you need anything, uh, like always, down below this video is my phone number. You can text me, you can email me, all of that type of stuff. Um, this week, I would like to start to set up um, meetings with you, Zoom meetings, one-on-one, -on -one, just to talk about you know where you're at with your business right now, where you're at with, um, with the program, the challenges that you're having, and that type of stuff. So, um, also in this um, uh, email is a link to um, my schedule. So, uh, take a moment, um, look at your schedule, and uh, and and schedule an appointment with me. It usually takes about 45 minutes uh, for the meeting, um, give or take a little bit. So, again, have a great week. I'll see you at session five, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.